everyone, so today I am filming the best sellers, wait no, 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 top rated <laughs> products on Ulta. Finally, so I ordered this stuff like probably a month ago now and it took so long to arrive at my US address. I had to place a assisted order. I'll link down below and explain it all down below if you're wondering how I bought stuff off an American website since I can't use my own card and stuff as well. Anyway, yeah, linked down below. Anyway, it took ages. It took like two or three weeks to arrive there. So I've just got it in New Zealand now and I'm filming it and hopefully the products are still relevant. I've checked two or three and so far they're all good still. So these are basically all of the products on Ulta.com that are rated super high. Real customer reviews and I also tried to pick products that had like tons of reviews. So if it only had like one or two or eight or ten reviews I kind of skipped past it and went straight for the ones that had like 50, 60, 100, 500, you know what I'm saying? So these are like cult favorites I would say. And I'm gonna test them today to see if I agree with the reviews and if I would recommend them to you guys. And as always, thumbs up this video if you do want to see a Ulta lowest rated products. And I also thought another fun one could be like full face of sale products maybe. I see some people like Laura Lee do um, like full face of clearance makeup or something along those lines. We don't really have that here in New Zealand but I thought I could go online and buy like a full face of sale makeup. Like stuff that's getting like discontinued or like, I don't know, let me know if that's a good or a terrible idea because I don't know. I'm going to jump straight in because this video is going to be long like always. I have my coffee here which is good because I'm tired. And also these earrings are not clipped in properly because I could not do it with these nails. I wish Hamish was home so he could put them on for me. So they're just kind of hanging in there. Hopefully they don't fall out halfway through the video. Watch my latest haul if you want to know where they're from. I'll link it down below. Okay, so primer, I actually already owned it. So this is one of the top rated, customer rated primers. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is a primer and a moisturizer in one. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, which is really good for hydration. So if you've got like normal to drier skin, it'll just really help to pump that moisture in. And it goes for $42, which is really expensive. It's got a free gift with purchase right now though. Hey. <laughs> got 152 reviews and it's rated 4.4 out of 5. So let's go for it. I've only actually used this like once or twice, even though I've owned it for a little while. I am typically a huge fan of Smashbox primers. As you guys know, I really, really, really like the photo finish, like the hydrating one, the original one. Um, I don't know. I just find them really nice. So it's kind of like this clear, it looks like this, which is questionable. But it feels amazing on the skin. It feels very hydrating and smooth. Like it really does feel like a moisturizer. Oh, it feels so fresh. Like it really feels like my skin's just drinking it up. So needless to say, I'm a fan of this so far. Okay, for foundation, we have one by Estee Lauder and I've never used this. I'm quite excited about it. This is the Double Wear Light Stay In Place Makeup for $42. Comes in nine shades. Hopefully this shade works for me. It's not many shades. Um, you get 30 ml product. Customers rated this 4.8 out of 5 with 215 reviews, which is pretty amazing. It says it's a long wear, lightweight, sheer to medium coverage, photo friendly, dermatologist tested, fragrance free, it won't clog your pores. So I really liked the original Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I ended up decluttering it because it wasn't something I wore every day or like on an everyday go-to basis because it was very heavy. So I am excited to try out the light version. The original Double Wear was amazing. Like one reason I really did like it, even though I didn't reach for it a lot, was because I would take it with me if I was going somewhere really hot, like somewhere very humid. So like Bali or when I went to LA in the middle of summer and places like that where I was like really sweaty, it wouldn't sweat off. So that's why I liked it, but yeah, I just didn't like the way it felt on my skin and I felt like it was always very like drying and like caked on. So let's give this one a go. I got the shade Intensity 1.0, which I believe is the second palest shade and it looks questionable on the online swatch, so I hope it's not orange on me. <laughs> this is how it looks. And I'm just going to apply it with a sponge today. So it's just a little squeezy tube. Nice packaging, simple, gold lid. I like how it's got a little swatch on the back. If you do have like multiple shades, I guess if you're a makeup artist or something, it could be quite cool. This is definitely more like creamy and moisturizing looking than the original. And it says that it goes on sheer, which leaves your skin free to breathe all day. So a lower coverage. 
it's sheer to medium coverage and it also says that it won't melt off through heat and humidity and it'll stay fresh whether it's a work day a workout or a weekend so i love the sound of this i hope it's good let's blend it out i actually think that coverage is stunning like it's definitely let me just darken it so you can actually see because the sun just came out a little it's not full coverage but it still covers enough when i blend it the color's good too I mean, I've got like no fake tan on, so lucky. <laughs> it feels very moisturizing. It doesn't feel heavy like the other one. I know some people loved that foundation. Like it went super like cult-like. <laughs> like everyone loved that foundation a couple years ago. Um, I feel like we're over that phase now, but if you still do like the Estee Lauder double wear, I guess it depends on your coverage though. If you want that intense coverage, this does not have it. But look how pretty that, like, I'm sorry. I think that looks stunning. I can't believe I haven't tried this before. I definitely don't think it's a sheer coverage. I would call this light to medium. Maybe not medium, but like a light. I don't think it's sheer. I wouldn't call it sheer. And it looks so pretty around my pores. Like it's just glided straight over them. And I love the glow. Obviously we'll mattify that with some powder, but oh, I'm happy. I could 100, well obviously we'll see how it wears throughout the day. But I could imagine myself using this again and again, like, and I think that color is bang on. Like, what do you guys think? I think it's a really good color for me. I am so pleasantly impressed. I mean, I know it was rated high, but I was so skeptical and I think that looks so radiant and beautiful. Probably quite good for people with maybe more like middle-aged, mature skin as well because it is so hydrating, but even young skin, of course. But you know what I'm saying? It's not dry and cakey and flaky or anything. For concealer, this is a brand I've never heard of, which I'm so excited about. I love trying out new brands. It's by Excuviance. Apologies if I said that wrong. Um, it's called the Cover Blend Multifunction Concealer for flawless coverage and anti-aging formula. Yay! I mean, I'm only 25, but let's we'll take it. <laughs> I got the shade Light. And it says you can hide every little flaw, age spots, blemishes, scars, tattoos, dark circles, um, everything virtually vanishes. This water-based formula feels comfortable and looks natural, not heavy all day. And it's got all of this other stuff in it, which is supposed to strengthen your skin, whatever, whatever. $24 comes in three shades and um, it was rated 4.3 out of 5 based on 482 reviews. So let's give it a go. Okay, so it's just got this little squeezy <laughs> tube. Feels really like lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy under my eyes. You know when you put product under your eyes, you can like feel it immediately since it's such a delicate area. Um, this though, I can't really feel it. I like the finish. It's very like dewy. Ooh, yeah, it covers up the freckles really easy. Everything's been good so far. This is a good day. What do you guys think? Do you think that covers enough or do you think it's still like showing the darkness? Like, I mean... There's definitely a little bit in here, but unless I color correct it, obviously always pretty much looks like that. Once again, I'll just darken this up a little bit for you so you can actually see because, you know, apparently the day's just getting better and better outside. I was kind of happy it was a crap day. I was like, at least if it's a crap day, because um, it wasn't too dark, but there was just clouds everywhere. I was like, that's good lighting. You know, it's consistent, but, you know, now the sun's coming out. I'm so happy with how my skin is looking right now look how nice that um what was the brand estee lauder foundation like set as well you can kind of see on my forehead the real finish like, it's just this really nice natural finish anyway so far so good but let's try it on a tattoo shall we this is gonna be awkward because this is using my wrong hand bs does not cover tattoos easily anyway i'm gonna sit here for eight hours and you know attempt but under my eyes i really like the way it looks definitely it's quite um moisturizing and thin which i thought it would be really thick but it's not and i definitely think you need to set it pretty quickly but let's yeah move on and do that i'm terrified for this one so this is called the shaken boost by pure it's a powder to cream multivitamin booster i categorized by powders this is the one that showed up um first in line with the most reviews it still only has 40 reviews but it is rated five out of five based on 40 reviews. So 40 people rated it five out of five. And people say it's amazing. So people are saying it like brightens and smooths the texture of your skin. They mix it in with um, 
the cream products, which obviously I have not done. So I definitely need to try it again. If today I don't like it that much, I definitely need to try it again because people say when you mix it into stuff, it's amazing. But some people say they use it on top just as a filter and it leaves their face looking really nice. So I honestly think like I just should have put this on with the other stuff and gotten another powder, but we're just gonna play the game. It's $26 and it definitely looks tiny so little yeah i'm pretty sure i should have mixed this in with stuff should i like just like stamp some on under my eyes or something this could be a disaster it says wear daily alone or combine with your moisturizer foundation or concealer apply to your skin as directed anyway i'm just gonna like stamp some on for fun and we'll see what happens and then it blends it out with my sponge because it turns creamy like it definitely does turn creamy i don't know if you can see the difference i can that side is glowing that side's kind of glowing because it's like not set, but like that side's actually glowing. Just tapping it on first and like out and stab myself in the eye. Well done. And it starts going quite like creamy looking and then I'm just using my sponge. I could probably apply it directly with my sponge, but I'm not doing that for some reason. It actually really does like brighten a lot. I'm definitely gonna keep trying this out. I definitely think it's very expensive considering you get such a small amount, but I guess you're just mixing in a little bit. It's such a weird product, but yeah, people swear by it. They say it's a game changer. So yeah, I should have tried this mixed in with it, but then again, I couldn't test the product properly if I did mix this in. But first impression, just like adding it on, like it's super brightening. So I'm gonna save this for another video. I'll actually mix it in with a foundation and we'll see how it goes. Actually, I'm planning on doing don't know if it's up already by the time you watch this it might be up already but i'm planning on doing a like really bright skin tutorial so i might just like chuck it in there and just give it a go with a matte okay just for the sake of like making sure my concealer was a true review i just set it with my kat von d under eye setting powder just because it was starting to crease a little bit so i definitely recommend working pretty quickly and good news, Shannon was obviously using her initiative when she placed the order because she also bought a plain powder. So this is the All About Matte Fixing Comet Powder. I'm excited to try this. It's by Essence, which is a really affordable brand I've not really delved into. It costs $3.99. And this was rated 4.3 out of 5 on 314 reviews. So once again, a very highly rated product. People are calling it their holy grail, saying that it's long lasting, like makes their skin look smooth, all of the good stuff. And it just comes in one shade, obviously, this translucent. And it says it helps to absorb excess oil and shine for a smooth complexion. And obviously translucent, they say it's supposed to work for all skin types. However, just a quick look on the reviews. Some people say that the color is unnatural. So I'm going to guess if you have perhaps like deeper skin tones, sometimes translucent powders like this can look a little bit ashy because they can be quite heavy. So maybe maybe i don't know just re read the reviews i guess if you're concerned about that i'm pretty fair so i don't usually have issues with that so i'm going to use it just a big to smack myself in the eye powder brush yeah see you can definitely see the white cast but we'll blend it out in a second and see if it disappears honestly like all of these products so far are working so well i'm so happy about it okay as we work the product into our skin it's definitely looking a lot more translucent and less white cast so there you go also of course you can use some setting spray which i will do later okay so do i like this i mean it's fine my skin looks smooth af and a lot of that will have to do with the foundation i use which i'm in love with right now so there you go we'll come back later and see how it is looking throughout the day for the contouring the product with the most kind of reviews that come up like the highest rated um, is this one, the Tarte Parquet Princess Chisel Palette for $46. I already owned this as well. So it's got 46 reviews and it is rated 4.9 out of 5. Now, because I have used this a decent amount of times, I can give you my own review on this. I definitely like it. However, I use this shade for contouring, which is like the most cool tone. And I'll show you, but for some reason it's still, and this is with a clean brush, it still sometimes shows up quite warm on my skin tone. So not sure what's up with that. I definitely wish it was a little bit more cool tone. Like I love the Tarte, what is it? Here it is, the Pro Glow. This color here called Sculpt 
is so much better on my skin tone. Um, if you compare it, I definitely, well, I think you can see that hopefully this sculpt shade that I like is a little bit like more gray, whereas Princess Cut is ever so slightly warmer. Like you can just kind of see. It's such a small difference. Like this still works on me, but I still way prefer this color. So I haven't really been reaching for this as much lately. Like I tried it for a couple times the first time. So I was like, oh yeah, it's really good. But then when I went back to this one, I was like, no, this color is way better. I'm gonna take it old school today because this brush is clean. This is the NARS Eater brush. I used to love this so much. Don't really use it that much anymore, but we're using the shade Princess Cut. I don't know if you guys can see, like for me, that's so warm. So I don't really recommend this palette as much as the other Tarte palette. It's such a beautiful palette though. The look of it, the colors, like it's so nice. Um, these colors are really nice under the eyes, but I just don't reach for it. So that's my review on it. Take it or leave it. I'm just doing a little bit of contouring with this shade, even though it's not really a contouring shade for me. Um, and then I've got a bronzer here that I will try. Okay, so for bronzer, we have the Becca Sunlit Bronzers for $38. Um, and I got the shade Barley Sands. This is how it looks, just like this. I'm sure I actually got sent this ages ago and I decluttered it because I was like, eh, don't really need it or whatever. So we'll give it a go. The packaging is cool. They've put like this golden shimmer through it. Um, and then this is what the color looks like. It looks like a nice palish bronzer color, which is good for my skin tone right now. So it has 65 reviews and it has been rated 4.8. So people like it and it comes in five different shades, which is quite cool. It says there's a shade for every skin tone. I got the palest one. It's described as a soft golden beige and it's got a shimmer through it, which I quite like. Well, I mean, not really shimmers. I don't usually like shimmers. I usually like a glow. That's why I love the Givenchy one. I love the Hourglass one. This one's definitely more shimmery looking, but we'll give it a go. Who knows? I might like it. So I'm using a medium face brush and I'm actually gonna put this like more on my actual cheeks like where I put blush down my nose like the high points basically. I mean it's not making me super shimmery but there's definitely a couple like little shimmers kind of like straying on my face but it doesn't look bad at all and I actually really love the color. It's super warming and it's not hard to apply like I feel like it's quite buildable which I like especially for a bronzer. I don't like just going in and it's just like dirt on your face. This is very like user friendly and I like the color. I think it's a really nice like warming color, like, you know, a very JLo glow kind of warmth. Surprisingly, I might, I probably threw it away. Well, not threw it away, probably donated it, gave it away um, because of the shimmer in it. But you know what? I don't hate it. Like you can't really see the shimmers unless you're like up close. There's a couple like random ones kind of scattered, but I can deal with that. Uh, the blush is actually MAC Mineralized Blush. There's heaps of different shades on Ulta. They're $29 and actually it's only got 23 reviews, but whatever. It's one of the top rated with the most reviews. But out of 23 reviews, it's been rated 4.8. I do really like these. I've actually got quite a collection of them myself, um, especially before I decluttered them. When was it like last year? This color in particular is one of my faves. This is called Warm Soul and it's just a beautiful warming color. It's got like a little bit of a shimmer sparkle through it, but I think it'll go perfectly with this kind of look we're going with quite bronzy. So I'm just going to take the same brush once again, the medium face brush. By the way, to make my contour look better because it was looking very orange, I just went straight over top of my face, like all over and buffed out with my powder brush that had a little bit of that translucent powder and it just helped to like soften it a bit. Like it's still a little bit orange, but it looks far better. This blush is probably going to be quite hard for you guys to see, but it gives you a glow, like a very warm glow. Um, I don't know if you can see to be honest, but it's a beautiful color. Like, can you see that glow it just gave me? It's definitely like a must have. It's quite unlike anything else. I have in my collection like it's very unique and it just gives you that warm glow like it does what it says warm soul that is it it's warm <laughs> AF just for fun here's another one this one is the shade petal power this is more of a kind of peachy pink hybrid and it's got like a gold reflect I'm just gonna take a little bit just to kind of brighten up my face a little and give a little bit of a touch of pink oh can you see that golden reflect on my cheekbone Barely even need highlighter now. That's so pretty. <laughs> I'm in love. Okay, this color is, I don't even know if I've used this before. Wow, 
Look at that. That's like my highlighter done, but we'll still put some more on. So I think my little beauty room thief is at it back at it back at it, at it back at it back at it again. Um, and has friggin' I don't know where it is. It is the Sun Dipped Glow Cap by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I can literally find every other one of my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kits except for the Sun Dipped one. I have no idea where it is. I know I own it. And that is by far the highest rated product. It's got like almost five out of five, 1,053 reviews. Like it's incredible. Where is it? Who would know? Like who would know? I've got like all of these other ones, but not the right one so I'm just going to use the next one down on the list that I have like I didn't buy it because I knew I had it and then I don't know where it is <laughs> so anyway the next one down that has a decent amount of reviews <laughs> that I have is the Ofra um, Nikki Tutorials Glow Goals Highlighter for $29 29 reviews and it's based I mean bleh, it's got 4.8 out of 5 so Let's go for it. I don't think I've ever used this on my face. It doesn't have a ton of reviews, but it's still rated really well. So let's just roll with it because it's just my luck. Just my luck. So the only reason it's used is because I used it in my mixing all my highlighters together video, which I'll link down below if you want to watch it. Um, I've never put it on my face as far as I can remember. So sorry about Zeus. It's like barking in the background. Yeah, that's pretty. By the way, this brush here is a Smashbox Precise Highlighting Brush. I do like it. Um, it's just natural here, so it's a little bit spikier, but it works really good. I mean, Nikki does not disappoint, like, ever, so it definitely shows up your texture on your skin hard out, because um, it's so blinding. But if you like a blinding highlighter, I mean, you're going to love it. It just shows up, like, every little bump. I've got some, like, bigger pores and, like, hairs and like a pimple and you can see everything so it's definitely not the kind of highlighter I personally go for on an everyday basis but I think it's fun for like festivals or like going out clubbing partying and stuff like that where I don't care so much but for like everyday wear it's not really something I'd go for um totally personal preference it's stunning though the actual color it's so pretty and especially for a blinding highlight like I could definitely see myself going for this one if that's what I wanted the actual color is just stunning like it's very pretty and on my skin tone too usually those kinds of colors on my skin tone don't do well whereas this looks nice the highest rated setting spray i was kind of surprised to be honest is mac fix plus with the most reviews but up there was still my favorites by urban decay the urban decay setting sprays i love them so much they're probably one of my favorites ever why does my lip feel numb i can't feel my lip it's like i've got pins and needles in my lip that's not normal. Anyway, um, this is $26 and there's now four cents. I do have the scent somewhere, but I'm just using this one because I mean, I've got like not much left, so might as well use it up. And it has 429 reviews and it's based 4.6. I mean, I like it, but I don't usually go for it for like a setting spray. I usually use this more for like intensifying pigments and like wet eyeshadows and liner and stuff like that. But it says here it's the holy grail of hydrating mist, so whatever, let's do it. Oh. So there's that. It definitely like goes on quite wet compared to some other ones. Like the spray is not that good. And that's one reason why I don't love it. So I'm just like tapping it in a little with my sponge really gently just to get rid of the big blobs. And before you say it, I know I use heaps, but I always use heaps, so I don't care. So it looks fine once you tap it in. It's just like another step, though, that I really can't be bothered doing usually. So for eyebrows, you really have to scroll for a while to find um, products with a lot of reviews. There's so many with just like one or two reviews. But we've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel and the It Cosmetics Build a Brow like Pomade Gel stuff. So obviously starting with the gel, this is $24 and it's been rated 4.5 out of 5 based on 450 reviews. So really good. And it basically says it's a 5-in-1 cream stain that combines 5 different technologies that help you create shape to find your eyebrows. It's your building fibers, tanning cream gel, fill and powder, long wear stain, all in one step, waterproof, 24 hour wear, budge proof. Blah, 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 blah. So I got the shade Universal Taupe. So hopefully it's okay. This is what it looks like. The texture is harder than I thought it would be, which is not a bad thing. It's very smooth, like it goes on without dragging. 
The color is definitely quite warm considering it's supposed to be a taupe. Um, usually taupes are more of like that grayish kind of undertone. Well, that's just my opinion anyway. I feel like the actual coverage of the product is not incredible. Like, I'm definitely layering it quite a bit, which again, depending on the person, can be a good thing or a bad thing. Definitely looks natural, which I like. Looks quite pretty. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. What do you guys think? It's definitely not bad. Okay, something I am a really big fan of with this product is it feels like I've set it already with brow gel. Like, you touch your eyebrows and they are like thick feeling. They are stuck down. Like, I quite like that finish. I definitely don't hate the product. It's not blowing me out of the water or anything, um, but I think I definitely will keep using it. I think the color's not bad now. It's on. It's a little bit warm. I mean, I used to always rock warm eyebrows, but these days I don't so much. But I mean, it's not the worst color in the world. It kind of matches my roots, which my natural hair color is quite warm. What do you guys think? Please give me your opinions so, you know, I know whether I look ridiculous or not. I don't know. Anyway, now let's try the Anastasia Billy Hills Tinted Brow Gel, which hopefully will help darken my eyebrows a little bit because I want them a little bit darker today, just because I like that look. I got the shade Espresso. This is how it looks. And I used to actually use this back in the day. Well, not use it, but I had it back in the day. And I didn't really like it that much. But obviously, taste and makeup changes as you progress in life. So we'll give it a go again. $22 and by far the best rated kind of brow product up there at 4.3 out of 5 with 1,100 and 20 reviews. People are saying that the brush is huge though, which I'm nervous about because I like my Gimme Brow Brush, which is nice and tiny. And if not that one, I really like my Urban Decay one, which is still very thin, even though it's bigger, it's thin. Whereas yeah, see this is like, like quite big. Like that's like a mascara wand. It's shorter on one side and longer on the other. So I'm gonna go in with the shorter side. I mean, it's fine. There's nothing bad about it. It annoys me, I have to be very careful though because of the brush. The actual product's nice, it looks nice. It doesn't look too heavy or like full on or anything. It looks like it's got a little shimmer through it, which is like a natural kind of highlighting effect. Um, I'm gonna go in with the longer side now and just like give it a go. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's just fine. <laughs> For eye primer, I cheated a little bit because the primer potion came up in travel size, like rated higher than this one, and also the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but I just wanted to try something new. So this one's still really highly rated by Clinique, and it's $17, and it's rated 4.5 out of 5, with 173 reviews. So it just looked really unique, and I wanted to give it a go. It has the green Clinique packaging, and it's kind of like a marble effect, like it's quite pretty. And then you open it up and it says inside, it's got a little sticker, it says to maintain the product's creamy texture, please close the compact tightly. So this is how much product you get. I have the shade here 26, which is canvas light. And I believe it comes in a few different shades. Yeah, it's got three different shades, depending on your skin tone or the look you're going for. So I got the paler one. I'm going to use my small buffer nipple brush and it's very creamy. It's going to be hard for you guys to see. It's a really nice pale color. I feel like it applies weird like with the brush, with my finger. It kind of like sticks to the powder that's already on my eyelid. It doesn't spread out very easily. Like it's quite difficult to work with. Maybe if I use a less amount at once it'll be a bit easier. No, it's still quite hard to blend. I don't know why product itself is very brightening, which I like. Like, it's a really bright color. Um, it's definitely gone quite, like, chunky and, like, funny on my eyelids, which I'm not a huge fan of. Yes, when you go to eyeshadow palettes, the Shenexo Remix palette comes up second. Woo! Rated five stars. <laughs> um, so I'm going to eyeshadow palettes and single eyeshadows now. Top rated. So, yeah, the Shenexo palette is top rated. <laughs> Just patting myself on the back. Okay, the top rated palette at the moment with like the most reviews. Um, the Shannon So palette's only got 16 at the moment. So get on it guys if you've bought off Ulta. If you've bought my palette off Ulta, go leave a review. Um, but the most is this one here, which I'm so excited about. I've been wanting to try this for a while. So I picked it up when I placed my order and it's one of the top rated palettes. The Dominique Cosmetics. You may watch Kristen Dominique on YouTube. I love her, she's so sweet. Um, so I picked up her palette, gotta support people. And I've heard great things about this one. It is the Latte palette. The packaging's really cute. 
And then with single eyeshadows, um, you get the Tarte metallic eyeshadows, Colourpop Super Shock eyeshadows, like stuff like that. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use single eyeshadows or just go with the palette. I might just go with the palette so that if you guys have this palette or want to pick it up, you can follow along with me. So first impression, this is the first time I've ever seen it in person. It looks stunning. So you've got a whole row of mattes which all of those shades look so nice. You've got a couple of matte colors, which are nice deep shades, which are like quite wearable, I guess. And then you've got three shimmer tones. So let's hop in. I have no idea what look we're gonna go for, but I'm so excited to play with this. I'm gonna go into the shade called Caramel, which is this one just here. And this is just a firm blender brush. And I'm just starting in the crease straight away. And look how easy that eyeshadow is blending. It's a beautiful like warm you know crease color just like the kind of essential color you want in a palette just so you don't have to use a different palette for your crease kind of thing well i always go in with a color like this in my crease first personally i don't know about you guys i love that this is like such a nice eyeshadow color with like the skin i've got on right now the skin i've got on just peeled it off you know chucked it on chucked it on for the day love that shade makes the green in my eyes pop too i don't know what do you guys think Today is a good makeup day so far. We'll wait till we get to the eyeliner. That's the true test. Okay, next up, I'm going to take the shade Mocha, which is the darkest brown in the palette. And by the way, I think I forgot to say what the reviews were. 4.9 out of 5 based on 97 um, reviews. And under the pros and cons, it's got no cons, which is good. So I'm taking it on a eyeshadow brush, the shade Mocha. I'm going to put that on the outer kind of part of my eye like that. I'm tapping in once each time and the pigment is really good and really even. It's not patchy. And then I'm going back into the shade Caramel and I'm just going to kind of blend out those very edges. And then I'm going to take the shade Hazelnut on the same brush which is this nice rich deep like warm brown. The base by the way is working a while underneath the eyeshadows. Um, I don't know if I love it though. It's just like meh, you know, like I still prefer my Natasha Denona and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'll continue to use that one. And then just using a little bit of that deep color to kind of blend those two together. And then wiping off my brush once again. And I'm going to go in with one of the shimmers. We'll try one out. I'm going to use the shade Espresso, which is the deepest, like kind of cool trend color almost, like golden, blackened gold. Ooh. That's so stunning. That's not what I was expecting. It's a lot lighter when you actually put it on and it's so metallic. Look how intense that is. I'm not pushing hard, I promise. Let's swatch another one. Like you can see already. One. Look at that pigment. That's insane. That's so good. This would have to be one of the best influencer palettes I think I've used. Now I'm taking the shade Caramel again, which is the one that went in my crease and I'm just tapping that in between those two colors. The only downside to the palette is it's a little bit powdery when I'm dipping in. To me, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. But I just thought I'd mention it because for some people they don't like that. Just It's just one of those things that you need to like tap off your brush a little bit before you go in so you don't get fallout. Now with a pencil brush, I'm going to take the shade Macchiato. This one right here, which is like the Palo Shimmer. And I'm going to pop that right on there. Oh, it's so pretty right on the inner corner. Once again, this is super pigmented, very bright. The shimmer is very metallic. It's not just like a shimmer. It's like full on, which I like in an eyeshadow. Honestly, that's so pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to take the same color on a short shadow brush. It's almost too much for the brow bone, but I mean, I'm rocking it. Oh my gosh, I've got such a bad headache right now because I've been clenching so badly. I'm off to get my Botox again in my jaw on Tuesday so that will be very good because I'm in pain. I vlog all about it if you want to like know all about it um, I'll link my vlog channel down below and you can see which ones they are because you can see the Botox thumbnail. So that's how the eyeshadows look. I'm just going to actually apply a little bit more of the mocha shade which is the darkest one and just deepen that up a bit. I lost a little bit of the pigmentation while blending which is not uncommon. I have to say, I really like this palette and I can imagine going back to this time and time again. And I probably will. So looking forward to seeing what kind of palette she brings out next. Let's try a color. Let's do blue. Do I have any eyeliners? I do. Okay, so eyeliner, let me just quickly look up the review. What 
color is this? This is like a deep kind of plummy brown, so it'll still work. So this is actually by Ulta. I chose it this one because it has 2,850 reviews and it's still rated 4.3. So there are tons of five stars and four star reviews. It's $8, which is very affordable. And it comes in so many different shades. So the one I chose is called Plum. So it's called the Gel Eyeliner Plum. Let's do this. I think this will look really pretty with this eye makeup too. I swear I chose like all the perfect colors. Oh, let's actually save that comment until I do my lips because who knows what lip color I chose. Okay, honestly, this eyeliner in the waterline, it doesn't catch on very well, but on the actual skin, I just like completely dinged it against my nail. Well done. Um, on the actual skin, it's good. It's just like not really gripping to my waterline very well. And I've just like wiped off my short shadow brush because I like to use this as like a smudger. A pretty color but I definitely think we can still use blue with this it's definitely like plum obviously it's a plum liner but I mean I think the blue will look good so I'm using a tulip crease brush with the shade cold brew which is the blue shade it's a nice deep muted blue so it's not like scary and I'm just gonna try and do that quite close to the lash line and just smoke it I know this looks crazy AF but I'm going to do like a lot of like lashes and stuff so it should balance out. I'm going to take a little bit of mocha once again which is the darkest brown and just put that right on the outer edge just to kind of bring it all in together. If you're copying this look and you think the blue is too much you can do it smaller or you can do it like just skip it. Just wait till the end and you'll see what I mean once you add the lashes and stuff it's not so crazy. And we're going sexy today even though I'm not sexy, but you know. <laughs> yeah, the eyeliner, I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest, like it really just does not stick to that waterline very well. For eyeliner, we have one by Tarte, which I'm like trying to find. Okay, so it's bumped down a little bit, but it's still up there in terms of like, you know, highest rated. It's just got like less reviews than some of the other ones now, but it's still rated 4.7 based on 136 reviews. So this is called the Sex Kitten Liquid Liner. I literally could not read what that said. I was like, I sort of said like Gilla, Gilla or like Glitter or like, I didn't know that it said Sex Kitten or like Killer. It looks like Sex Killer, but I don't know. That's not important. The packaging's quite cute. It's got a little kitty on the top of it. And yeah, 4.7, 136 reviews, $20. Comes in black. Let's give it a go. I might end up doing half of this off camera. This is the applicator, which I like the look of. Looks like a felt tip, nice and long, quite flexible looking. It's actually not that flexible, I take that back. I thought it looked flexible because it was so long, but it's really stiff. So the tip definitely got a little bit more flexible as I went. I love how black and matte it is. Like, it looks really, really nice and effective. Um, the applicator, yeah, I warmed up to it, you know what I mean? I don't hate this. I'm not like head over heels in love with it like I was when I tried out my Tom Ford or anything. But, I mean, let's keep trying it and seeing how it goes. Okay, the mascara has well changed. So, this is the Full and Soft by Maybelline. It is way down the page now, but it's still rated really high. But a lot of other mascaras have taken it over in the last, like, three weeks. So, it's still based on 303 reviews. And it's got 4.3 out of 5. So there are a lot of pros, a lot of cons. Some people hate it, some people love it. So let's give it a go. Typically, I like Maybelline mascaras a lot. They're definitely some of my favorites out of any brand. Um, it goes for $7.99. So let's give it a go. This is the packaging. Oh, very basic. And then, yeah, see, it's like a nice big full kind of brush. Oh, well, focus. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. So I think this mascara definitely gives you very soft looking lashes, like very natural lashes. It's not like super thickening, it's very separating um, and it gives you nice long like separated lashes basically. Very natural, very pretty, not necessarily something I love because I usually go for something that's lengthening and volumizing. I wouldn't call this one, I just spit everywhere. Wouldn't call it very volumizing, but I'll build it up and we'll see how we go. It's a nice formula though in terms of the thickness and it doesn't just like splatter everywhere. It's still really pretty. Nothing spectacular. It's just like, yeah, it's good, you know. So the lashes are these Ardell Wispies, which are like layered. $5.49 and based on 110 reviews, they got 4.8. Ardell Wispies used to be one of my favorite lashes back in the day, 
they give you that really beautiful like fluttery fluffy effect and these ones have like a little layer of these like clusters like right in the center here I'm not sure if you can see them it took me ages to find them to be honest um, they look really nice so let's give them a go there is a lot of like the glue residue on it the lash um, which you can't really pick off very easily so that's probably the only negative they are incredibly easy to apply so this is what I'm talking about with the glue residue like all that plastic which you can pick off if you sit there for a while but it's not very easy to get off so that's how the lashes look they're really pretty very natural just like a thick and fluffy and natural it looks like we're doing gloss and lip pencil today because those are my options here doesn't look like I picked up lipstick unless of course I've already got the lipsticks in my collection so it looks like I got very natural like nude kind of shades of lip pencil these are the Plump and Define Plump Line Lip Liners. So I was quite surprised. Um, Urban Decay's 24-7 uh, lip liners that I love are higher up on the list, but they've got far less reviews. And then right behind it is Buxom. They cost $17. They've got 20 shades. And there are 247 reviews, and they are rated 4.3. So pretty good. Um, and they look really pretty. So let's give it a go. The lighting's gone a bit funny, but hopefully it looks nice again soon. So I've got Hush Hush, Dolly Danger, and Incognito. And those are the colors. So I might just go like basic AF, like maybe. Oh, I see. So they're kind of like a um, thick lip pencil. They've got a little smudger on one end. Yeah, they're like a jumbo. So they're not like a precise lip pencil, if that's what you're thinking, which is what I thought. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the shade Hush Hush. Very creamy. Whoa, hello, sun. I really like that formula it's very creamy and you can just wear it all over like a lipstick I've got very dry lips at the moment and obviously it's a pencil it's going to show that um, so let's go in just straight away with a gloss after so the highest rated glosses are an old favorite of mine I used to rave about these like four or five years ago these are the NYX butter glosses so I was looking specifically for a gloss obviously um, these have tons of reviews the highest rated gloss technically is the Buxom Full On Lip Cream, which I do love. Like, I love them and I've got them in my collection. But there's 765 reviews for the Buxom. And for these, there's 3,396. So I went with this, plus they're super affordable. So I wanted to show you them. $3.50 at the moment, $4.99 normally, 4.6 out of 5. They come in so many colors. So I picked up Menline Creme Brulee and Sunday Mimosa. So I think I'm going to go right in the middle. I don't know which to do. So this one's kind of a mixture. This is Creme Brulee. I used to actually have this shade. I got rid of them a while ago because they were just so old in my collection. So let's apply Creme Brulee. These glosses are very lightweight. They're not sticky. They smell delicious as well. And that is the completed look. And this lighting, seriously, this is the kind of lighting that's making everything look worse. Um, it's very unflattering. <laughs> let's see if we can like... Still terrible lighting. Um, I'll put up a picture on my social media of the finished look in a better lighting. Um, this is just so bright and this is what I deal with in summer in New Zealand because the light bounces off my neighbor's roof straight into my room but at funny angles so the lighting like shows off all these shadows on my face that I don't even normally have. Um, it's not flattering but anyway. That's how the makeup turned out. My favorites are definitely probably like the foundation. Loved that. I loved the eyeshadow palette, the blush, the bronzer actually surprised me. I think there were so many good things in this video. So out of everything, my least favorite is probably like the mascara. Not like super phased on it. I don't know. Like it's not bad. Oh, and the eyeliner. The eyeliner is actually probably the worst thing just because it doesn't really stick very well. But mostly like overall, I think we had a really good day. So if you want to see that lowest rated Ulta video, then feel free to thumbs up and comment down below and let me know. And also I will list down below some of these videos I've already done with different brands like Sephora and Mecca and stuff like that. And let me know if there's any other websites you want me to do as well. My previous one was Beauty Net Korea or something like that. Korean beauty products, like Korean makeup. I'll link that down below for you to watch as well. It was a really fun one. I was testing out like the best sellers, best top rated Korean beauty products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll link everything I used down below for you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.